Hi everybody in the Legacy League. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Valerie here. Hope that your day is being a fully charged, meaningful day given that it's Monday today. So I just wanted to drop in on uh, the League and talk about a particular kind of emotional dynamic that can actually wear us out and that is the feeling of being um, like we're not nice people because we have to make tough decisions. Do you ever feel that way? Um, whether, you're as a, whether you're a parent or whether you're in business um, or a leader of a team, it's this awful, awful feeling that, um, you know, you kind of second guess yourself. And I think there are some ways that we have typically, we as in, um, you know, if you were to look at how in general this feeling, this dynamic is measured or, or, or um, negotiated is typically to come up with maybe some statements that help us to feel better about ourselves like it's not personal it's business or I can't be your friend I have to you know I have to be your leader and that is all true I wonder though as with usually these sorts of statements if we don't have enough of that uh, the work underneath it in other words if we haven't worked through it for ourselves what does that actually really mean I should really believe it let alone embody it we can stay in that dissonance which can actually make us feel emotionally really exhausted and then we may tend to then just avoid the issue altogether so today I've been talking a bit about um, the three different types of trust circles that exist when we're actually in a leadership position um, now that exists even uh, as a parent, right? Um, I talk about personal trust, professional trust, and positional trust, right? So personal trust is that 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 area of trust that you can confidently, uh, I believe, confidently say about yourself, where you know that in the majority of situations where you're in, you know, in equal uh, ground with someone, you would be respectful, you'd be honest you'd be trustworthy, um, you'd be considerate, and if you were to become nasty or aggravated or angry or a bit insulting, and if someone pointed that back to you, then we would repair that, right? Because that's what builds personal trust. That's how I know that when I am talking to someone that I can personally trust with my secrets or to be my confidant or even to take care of my kids, that we have a personal relationship that has negotiated that space. Then there comes professional trust. Now, professional trust comes from working with someone and observing how they conduct themselves uh, in terms of their technical skills, their competency, their ethics, and whether they handle clients with integrity. So professional trust, um, or even with our kids, maybe it's not professional, maybe it's in the area of, let's say, um, are, they, are they being competent in a particular area? Can I leave them at home um, by themselves at a particular age, right? Do I trust uh, that they are able to manage the situation? And so there's also professional trust. And then there's positional trust. So positional trust is about knowing can you hear the giggling? <laughs> Got a couple of uh, girls here at the moment. Uh, positional trust is when you have been given a position, so let's say if you're the leader or the director, the business owner or the parent, it comes with certain responsibilities that you can't always share with people what the reason for what you're doing is. But by virtue that you've led the team, um, that you've made some tough decisions, that you bring them along in the journey, that you share the vision and the mission. Um, there is positional trust. There's a sense that there's safety and security and, uh, and surety about how things are going. And we need to be able to have positional trust as well when, uh, when we're leading someone. I'm uh, sorry, when someone, someone is leading you. Now, when we can often feel like we're being meany, is when one of those positions of trust requires us to do something that the other person may not necessarily agree to. How we do it relies on personal trust, right? Mm -hmm. To some extent, professional trust as well. If we can, if we are able to highlight this to the people that look, you and I, we've been able to have some great conversations, right? You and I have been able to. Um, do this, do that together, um, we meet for coffee, we whatever. 
we've got enough personal trust and capital to be able to negotiate whatever other those two spaces might be really grating on us and i think often where we don't get that clarity and where we actually feel mean about you know or confused or awful is that we think that because we're having conflict in one of those other spaces we are not actually being um, true to ourselves as a person so I want you to, and I want you, I'd love to have your feedback and conversation about thinking about that personal, professional and positional trust. And, and have you encountered that before, that, uh, that conflict, um, that they're not ne necessarily mutually exclusive. What I would encourage you to think about is that your personal integrity, who you are as a person and the capital that you have, um, doesn't necessarily change because you've had to negotiate um, those two other spaces. All right.